What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today we have the Winter of Go Hulkling and first we're going to be going with America Chavez as our dimensional being objective. So first let's check out his uh, nodes. So the defender is immune to nullify, stagger, fate seal, buff immune and cannot have their buff ability accuracy modified due to abilities like neutralize or soul imprisonment. So basically you cannot prevent his buffs, you cannot nullify his buffs or anything. Now if you're a hero you gain superiority for the next node. So if you throw a special into the opponent's block, you gain 100% block penetration and 100% attack. But if you are superiority, which means if you are a hero, specials are going to instead deal 300% attack more damage, which is really good, man. It's like triple the damage. So if you have heroes, you're definitely going to notice the difference, even though you can use non-heroes as well. Now, the defender takes 90% less damage unless you knock him down with a heavy. You know, this protection charge that he has, just make sure you knock him down. Um, and then invade. So invade means you have 300% more attack and 100% more block penetration when you hit the opponent's block. But they have that too. So like really the only thing you have to be worried about this fight is just never block. If you block one hit, you're probably gonna lose half your health. Depends if he has a fury or not. Like if he has a fury, yeah, probably more than 50% of your health, to be honest. And then also this fun node where when the attacker strikes the defender's block with a basic attack, the attacker gains 4% of the max power, which is really cool. It allows you to get some nice power and, you know, chain those specials into the block. And then lastly, he needs to have three buffs on him so that you can deal damage, basically. But that's pretty good because, you know, there's no way you can prevent it or, like, no fight anyway. So with Chavez here, don't mind my gameplay. It's not good, honestly. But I go show you how good Chavez is for this objective. She probably is the best out of the dimensional beings. She is also a hero, so we have even more block penetration, more attack when we throw a special into the block. And I think here I'm gonna go for a special two, but not in the block because it still does a lot of damage. See, like it's a hundred k. So yeah, you still get like that boosted attack, even though you don't if even if you don't hit the block. But as you can see, I am definitely getting a little bit wrecked here. So I think I'm going to go for a special 2 lifesteal at this time. So I did the knockdown. And there we go. We should get some nice health back. Very good. We got like 15%. And I believe here I'm going to get hit again. <laughs> I, I think I survived this fight with like 1%, honestly. And I couldn't bother to get it again because, you know, it's just such an easy fight. But I'm just, I'm just messing up. <laughs> like so easy. And then up next, we are going to have the size, medium, and Avengers tag. And for last, I'm saving the best. I'm saving the best for last because it includes Karnak. <laughs> uh, man, I can't believe Karnak is actually good for one objective. And he's not even like a hero, to be honest. So here we're going to probably throw a special one, two, I mean, for big prowess. 3% and here, just try to go for the intercept and he went for the light intercept himself. That's crazy. And we survived with 1 HP, which... I mean, a solo is a solo, right? Now, for size, medium, and Avengers, I chose Photon. Photon is probably the best one. Also, she was like the champion that I had high ranked up, the, the highest rank. She's rank 5 ascended, 6 to 100, and all that stuff. She is also a hero, so very good stuff as well. And also, like, if you have like a 6 to 100 Photon, she does reduce the opponent's block efficiency based on like the debuffs, so that is a pretty good thing, you know? <clears throat> but the only problem with Photon is like if she's in pure light form, you know, her special 2 is like unblockable, so you don't really want that. So most of the time, I'm going to go for special 1s when I'm in pure light form, because only the last hit is unblockable. The rest is blockable. So here we're going to throw a special 2, and I tried to like... See, I don't know why he just let his block there. I tried to make him block, but he just wouldn't block <laughs> for no reason. And uh, I don't know, it's something weird with uh, da the dashback from Photon. Like, the guy doesn't want to throw a special sometimes. It just goes for medium combos into the air. Now I'm going to throw a nice special too before I get into pure light form. 30k, 30k, 42 and 42. Not too bad. And now we have the big fury. So now we're going to go for probably a special one here. After I uh, bait this special two and then do another heavy to knock down. Probably going to go for a special one into the block. Let's see. Yes, 21, 21, and then he got the indestructible. But now we have the uh, 
What's it called? The trauma debuffs. Dealing some nice damage. We also counter his healing, which is awesome. Because it actually does add up if you don't have a way to like prevent his healing. Like I did with Chavez. And there goes my pure life form, but now he has like 64% health. So not bad at all. But from the Avengers, sorry, from for the if I jump into this, uh, from the medium and uh, Avengers tag, I think you know there everyone is a hero, so I think the best one you can use is probably Photon, like I said. But then you shouldn't really use Falcon because I don't think you can prevent his buffs anyway. I think the second best is probably gonna be. Uh, Quicksilver. That's what I'm thinking. He, he does deal some decent damage with his specials. He has the debuffs to like prevent the healing. And then maybe you want to use like Iron Man here, but like I, I'm not too sure because like with Iron Man you really want to like you know parry the specials and pause your armor ups. You know, I, I, like Iron Man has insane block proficiency. But to be honest, against Invade, I don't know if he's still gonna be too great. To be honest. So I would just stick to like Photon and Quicksilver probably. There is no one that's a Mystic against this uh, Avengers one. So I don't think it's too great. And then for the Dimensional Being, if you want to do that, I think the best option is Chavez and the second best is Kushala. Because like if we jump into the heroes, there's Chavez, CGR, Kushala. Those are definitely the best you can use. I would say in a specific order, it would be Chavez, Kushala and CGR. Uh, however, you could use like, I don't know, maybe fam as well, or your magic, if you get her 5 star ascended. But there it is. Photon solo, pretty easy, man. And now we have the moment you've all been waiting for. Karnak. This is a 6 star rank for Karnak against Hulkling. And he's actually a beast, man. Like, he's not, for, for this mercenary tag, he's not even a hero. But, you know, Massacre and Karnak are like... The guys that deal damage uh, from it through the opponent's block, they deal more damage when you hit their block. So they are definitely like the the op options that come to mind first. I would say definitely massacre first. He does have more, uh, you know, damage into the block. But like Karnak is my guy. You know, I gotta use my Karnak. So we're gonna go for special two here. Seventeen thousand and one hundred thirty-seven thousand. It's not bad, man. We only have a fury, <laughs> only one fury, and like three fragiles. So the damage is gonna keep keep going up. 69,000 and 161,000. That was like a 230k special two right there. Do you see his health? We just started and he's got 60%. And look at that, that, that heavy has really good reach and you can even do a heavy counter after his special one sometimes. Like, it's pretty cool, I like that. Another special two, 68,000, 159,000. That's it's not bad man, it's not bad. And also like if you're trying to use suicides here, it's actually a lot better for Karnak because he heals. That's why I love using Karnak with suicide man. That healing is, is so nice. Now we're gonna hit the block. Go for a special two because it's gonna have 107,000. So if you got a Karnak awakened, he actually gains even more power when we're hitting the opponent's block. He gains even more power than he would get when hitting the opponent's uh, face. So you get double the power gain in this fight. And he's just super, super fun in this with Spider-Man. He just gets so, so much power. And I think this is about it. This is about gonna do it. We did not get the crit there, so we didn't kill him. But that's like, that's a pretty fast solo if you ask me. Just imagine if he's like a hero too. But yeah, man, that's it. Karnak completely destroyed this guy in under two minutes, I believe. Yeah, 147. And if I jump into the mercenaries, uh, those are all the mercenaries. If we go into the heroes, oops, the heroes, those are the heroes. So, you know, Massacre and Karnak are not included, but, you know, they are pretty good, man. But then the second champion, or sorry, I guess the third champion you can use, probably the best one, would be Domino. Domino has, you know, pretty good damage. She uh, has some bleeds, potentially crit bleeds, if you want to throw a special uh, outside of the opponent's block. So, yeah. If you don't want to use Massacre or Karnak, or if you don't have them ranked up, you can definitely use Domino and do it. So yeah, man, we had a pretty easy boss yet again. That Hulkling was definitely not that bad. And he was actually a really enjoyable to fight. Like Invade, if you see, like, occasionally, it's pretty fun, honestly. It's, it's kind of nice, because it also, like, 
it's kind of tough to like not block anything so it does make it a little bit challenging but nowhere near to like the absorb man level so yeah guys hopefully this video helped you and if it did please give it a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one